Hello guys, welcome to VRL Studio. I want to show you today how to use the SVC Density Visualization plugin. If you have installed the plugin, then you can open the template project, which I provide as a link below the video, SVC Density with template project. If you have opened it, you will see the window like this. So you have the start and the end button and you have two components, compute density and density visualization. In the common options section you can specify a stack input folder for your neuroanatomically resolved images, which is for instance XML or SVC files. For today we use XML stacks. Then you need to adjust the dimensions for the density visualization cubes, which you can adjust here quite easily for x, y and z dimensions. As you can see, the density is plugged in here for the visualization. Then you may provide also a single consensus geometry file, which specifies your common geometric representation. This file you can plug in in the geometry section of the visualization component. Also, you may specify the file type explicit. But you don't need to do this. But you can. And if you do, it will override an automatic procedure which is based on the file ending of your files. Then we have some advanced options which we don't use at the moment. Then you can go over here and adjust the density. So you want to visualize all boxes which have a density above or equal to 1. Then you can assign a density color for 0% density and 100% density, which is depicted here. And then you can adjust the transparency of the density visualization. If you want to visualize with transparency, tick this box. If you want to visualize your density, which you should, then you need to check this box. Also, you can make decision between different representations of your consensus geometry file schematic, which is the line graph basically, and you can choose also cylinder, and cylinder will give you 3D resolved cylindrical structure in your visualization with a volume. Also you have various options for the colors or for your coloring scheme, as you see it here. You can choose a line graph geometric color and a bounding box color. In the same way you can specify here the transparency of the line graph geometry or the bounding box transparency. If you want to visualize the consensus geometry, which you specified here, you need to check this box. After you've done with your setup, you may press start and after some seconds you will get the visualization on the right hand side. So you can play around, you can move it around, you can zoom out, you can zoom in, you can rotate and you see the density components are visualized and you see also the line graph geometry which is the consensus geometry which goes straight through the cubes. As you can see, the bounding box is visualized now with a given transparency to allow the visualization of all involved components. Also, you can increase the zoom speed here to zoom more fast in or out the geometry. If you have arranged your geometry and are satisfied with the visualization, then you may save the density visualization as an image and this is done with that pop-up menu and you have 
the choice to save it as JPEG, PNG, TIFF or TIFF. And um, yeah, that's it basically. So this was SVZ density visualization with the VRL Studio. Bye.